How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about some Halo Reach on the Xbox One, some in-flighter awesomeness, some 1080p, 60fps greatness for you guys. This video was ripped off of my live stream, and I figured that I would just do a voiceover commentary for you guys. A little different right here, because I'm sure you guys just want to see the gameplay. Well, I'm going to give it to you straight on this one. So guys, if you guys like these uh, gameplay kind of commentaries, give me my thoughts and opinions, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Reach. Did you guys get a chance to play the Flight 3 uh, Awesomeness or uh, you kind of waiting around for your email to come in? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and stay up to date with anything Halo related, guys, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So this is the first flight I've had a chance to actually jump in and play. I was not invited to Flight 1. I did not get the invite to Flight 2. But Flight 3, guys, I finally got a chance to jump in and play. And my god, you guys... It feels so good to get a chance to play some Halo Reach. You know, it's right now, yes, it is backwards compatible, but the thing is, it's just that one, you gotta play with uh, the backwards compatible version, which just really isn't that great. Plus, like, uh, Reach really shows its age with the 30 FPS, the really low anti aliasing, the motion blur, and also just like the really low player base that's right now for Halo Reach because it wasn't really one of the most favorable multiplayers uh, in the franchise. And so, being able to kind of see the game brought back to life in 1080p, 60 FPS, no motion blur, with a healthy player base, even in the flighting program, and guys, this game looks so good. I did not realize how good Halo Reach looks until I got a chance to see it on the Xbox One. Now I'm playing on the regular Xbox One. I didn't get a chance to play in 4K or HDR or anything like that, but it's like the visuals seem brighter. The 1080p makes it so crisp. Having anti-aliasing makes it look so much better and just it's just a much better overall gaming experience that really brings Halo Reach to the current day standards and it does a fantastic job of it. Uh, for the visual experience of it, there were like no glitches or anything like that. Uh, nothing really weird that I saw happen when it comes to playing Reach. It just played how I would hope it would play visually. Like it, it worked out super well. Now, I don't know if all the emails have been completely sent out for the Flight 3 guys. They might be still rolling out for some of you guys. I think I know I might have been on the first wave of people to get into the Flight 3. So keep an eye on your emails, guys. Check your spam folders. Check your emails. Check your different folders that you would expect Halo to show up in. You know, just searching Halo and it will come up for you guys, hopefully. Now, you're also probably really wondering... How does it play? Obviously, we're jumping onto a completely different console here when it comes to the gameplay experience of Halo Reach. And from what I played, guys, once I got my settings kind of set up how I like them and kind of got everything working pretty well, and you're probably wondering, okay, so does it play similar to the 360 version? Does it feel good? Does it play well? And I have to tell you guys, Reach plays exactly how you would hope it to play. I mean, it just it feels like I'm playing Halo Reach. And uh, so the motion does feel a little bit sluggish, -y, but that's really just kind of because of that's how Reach played, and it's uh, it feels like Reach basically. It's the only way I can really say it. Uh, obviously, if you get a chance to play it, then you'll finally understand what I'm talking about here. Uh, but yeah, it's, it plays super well. It's you know it's snappy like Reach was. It um, you know but still has like kind of a weighted experience that definitely felt like it when you were playing when I was playing Reach back in the day as well. So uh, it just it plays how I expected to play. Uh, the matchmaking in this game was phenomenal. I was finding matches super fast. In fact, faster than just regular MCC matchmaking, which is crazy to think about uh, how limited the player base is on this. But I think everyone's just on at the same time that maybe the population was a little bit higher I don't know but like literally the, the downtime between matches was maybe 15 seconds at best like it's fast and so uh, you get to look forward to that when it comes to the MCC update coming for you guys that the matchmaking experience is gonna be so much better than what it is right now on uh, MCC I'm assuming that's probably gonna be dragging over that same experience to the other games as well to where like you'll be finding games super fast guys so the population is there it's gonna do well now I do know that there is a little bit of skill based matchmaking mixed in with uh, the current MCC matchmaking, but I think that's really just so that you don't get like 
Timmy No Thumbs matching up with like Shotzi quality players. You know, it's a, it's very loose, but it's there. Um, I noticed that I think it, that the skill based matchmaking was not in this at all because uh, I was getting you know, quite a wide variety of matches. I mean, most people that we're playing right now are generally good players who are involved, want to be involved with the flighting program. You know, you're not your casual fan base is going to be jumping in wanting to, you know, get some early access builds of Halo Reach. They're just going to wait until the game comes out, you know. Uh, so, majority of people who are playing this are pretty good. Of course, like, you know, there are some better, some worse players. Uh, like, but for example, like I matched with Unishek and me, and we just completely stomped this other team. And then the very next game, Unishek and Heinz, the former Halo Pro, matched against me, and I got stomped. So, you know, it's kind of goes back and forth like that. But uh, for the most of the time, like, matchmaking times were super good. And, um, you know, it's just a really, really well done matchmaking, guys. I can't like, praise it enough. Uh, but one thing I would definitely would like to mention are some of the downfalls when it comes to this Flight 3. Like not everything was peachy clean, not everything was sunshine and rainbows. There were a few little, uh, little you know, blemishes on this, but nothing too gameplay breaking. Uh, one thing is definitely the, my biggest issue I've had with the Flight 3 would be the distant audio. The distant audio just sounds so flat, and I think it's in mono or something like that. Like, it's I can't pinpoint uh, audio at a distance. It just sounds like it's just mono, and like it also sounds really low bitrate. Like it sounds super muffled and weird. Um, I don't know if it's because of my audio settings, but like no other game on MCC has that audio issue. Um, but like I, you know, I, stuff in close range, I can hear totally fine, crystal clear, exactly how like, the game was back in 2010. Uh, but uh, anything that's happening at a distance, like gunshots, explosions. Uh, vehicles driving it sounds really muffled and it sounds mono it doesn't sound like it's in stereo for whatever reason in my headset uh, so I definitely would want to see 343 take care of that that's a really big issue that's my biggest one when it comes to this flighting uh, just because obviously having proper audio directional um, what's the word? orientation is super important when it comes to playing Halo and when that's thrown off it really messes up your game though again like I said it's at it's only sounds at a long distance anything at close range sounds totally fine everything at mid-range sounds good long distance fire shot shots fired or anything like that just sound it's like it's in mono and it sounds like a low bit rate like a like a bad like you like you tried to steal like a YouTube video lyric video and, and put it on your mp3 player it's like it's super low bit rate if that makes sense it sounds super muffled and weird so it definitely wants to see the team look into that when it comes to the uh, future flights or just before the game is released uh, another thing I noticed that uh, a lot of times uh, after matches that the audio of like the ranking up sounds or like the clicking noises and like the little blah, 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 and click, 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 clicks or whatever you want to call them uh, would actually persist beyond the post cars game report and would stick into your lobby and in the game as a whole until you started up a brand new game. Uh, so definitely want to look into that issue. Uh, I, I couldn't really pinpoint exactly what would cause that to happen, but it certainly was happening, and enough to where I would want to put that up in the uh, insider build. I might actually try to write that up and see if uh, if it hasn't been already complained about already, uh, just because it's super important for that kind of stuff to get kind of cleared up as well. Now, I also, I don't know if this is a Flight 3 issue, but it definitely was an issue, at least when playing Team Deathmatch, that the spawns were not exactly the best. I don't know if that can be something that can be improved with this, or if that's just how Reach was. Again, like, I'm trying to recall how the game played, you know, nine years ago off the top of my head, but I don't remember the spawns being this wonky. Uh, I definitely did come across a few times where I would spawn, like, right next to a teammate which he was in a gunfight or something like that and then uh, you know, I would be able to swoop on and get an easy kill just because I spawned on the guy my teammate rather than actually uh, outplaying somebody. Uh, I did come across a couple times where I would spawn and like if I moved forward I'd run into a guy immediately or a guy directly behind me. Again uh, I do since I think they utilize the same kind of spawning system that was in Halo 3 which is you spawn with your team and so uh, it's not exactly, sometimes you get some really bad spawns, and again, I don't know if that's just how the game was, or if that's how, or if that's like an issue in the game, but I definitely know some funky spawns popping up in this flight. 
But yeah, guys, other than that, those were the only issues. So not horribly game-breaking, just some minor issues I just want to bring up and make sure that they're known. But like, guys, like the gameplay is smooth. I see a lot of potential here. Gets me really excited for Reach coming to the full release of MCC. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I will definitely, this, yeah, like I said, these videos were ripped off of my live stream. I streamed it for like six hours and just enjoyed the hell out of it. Even though we're playing like, what, five maps over and over again. It's still just a ton of fun because I get a chance to play Reach in 1080p 60fps. I did not realize how good this game looked until you got a chance to see it on the MCC, guys. So, if you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's be want to see some more content. Content. Like this, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on it. Do you guys get a chance to play the MCC build? Let me know in the comment section what your experience was with this as well. If you're new to the channel and step there with anything Halo related, make sure you tap subscribe. Keep you up to date with everything going on, on the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me, make sure you tap subscribe and check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.